Hello out there, and maybe you can tell based on all the stuff in front of you right now that this is going to be my first ever EDC video. And it really might be the last one, to be honest with you guys, because so much of this stuff is really consistent in my carry. And while the knife and, you know, some of the other stuff might get swapped out here and there, uh, the way that I carry has been really pretty much the same for quite a while. So what we're going to do today is just talk about that stuff and, you know, if in the future some things change and I'm trying out some new gear or tools or whatever, I'll uh, definitely do an update about it. But for now, let's just talk about the stuff that we have and the way that I'm going to do the video is compartmentalize it based on what pocket everything is in. Alright, so I'm going to start with the stuff that's just not in a pocket and the first thing is the watch. Alright, so this watch uh, I've had for quite a while. I don't wear it every single day, but it's been a mainstay and it's one that I really like to wear at work. Uh, the brand, as you can see, is Electric. And it's just a pretty neat looking uh, looking watch. Nothing too fancy about it. Doesn't have a whole lot of, um, you know, ability as far as, you know, timers or anything like that. It just has the date and the time. Basically all you need, right? And has a little bit of like an old classic steampunky look to it, which I really like. And it's just been a really good watch for me over the past year. You know, sometimes you buy a watch that's somewhat economical and within like a month or so the battery's dead and you're like, come on. And this has not been that way. It's just been a, a good one. And it has a really cool look to it, especially with the kind of plain clothes that I have to wear for my job. So really like this one. Yeah, good, good overall quality. And there's a lot of similar styles like this. If you wanted like a different type of band or clasp or something, you can get this kind of design from them, uh, you know, in, in a bunch of different configurations. All right. And then the other thing that I carry just about all the time that isn't in a pocket is on my face. And that's just my pair of glasses. Um, I've only had glasses for about a month, so I'm still getting used to the process. Uh, tried to figure out, you know, the best way to, to go about getting them from here to there, you know. And so what I have is one glasses case that I keep here at home and then one at work. And so I never have to carry a glasses case around, which is nice. Uh, but, yeah, sort of been a pain and a bit of an adjustment getting used to all that. But I can definitely see a lot better, which is good. All right, now let's get into the actual pockets. All right, starting with the back right. And I have two flashlights here, and that's just because depending on the shift that I have at work, I will carry um, one of the two. And these are two through nights. We have the T14 and the T15. Uh, the T14, obviously, as you can see, is a longer, like, full-size kind of pen light, and the T15 is the mini. Um, what I like about these, though, is that, you know, I'm carrying them in my back right pocket, so they're not too bulky. You can sit down on them, and, you know, it's not going to, like... Be uncomfortable and it's not going to ruin the the product either which is good um, also just for the size they are both pretty darn bright you know and I have work shifts where I go in at 4 p.m. and get home at about 2 or 3 a.m. and then my other shifts that are more during the day uh, I'll carry the t15 because it's smaller won't need the brighter light but the t14 is uh, for the late nights where I might be outside or in the dark a little bit more and these have just been both really good for me. This is probably my fourth T14 that I've had because I lose them uh, somewhat regularly. You know, it gets put down. I lost one in a move. It happens, but relatively inexpensive too. You know, sub twenty dollars, so not a uh, not a bad deal there. And also, the thing that I really like is both these uh, run on AAA batteries, so really easy to change, really easy to uh, get rechargeables, and just. I never have to really worry about batteries. Two AAAs in the T14, one in the T15. Piece of cake, right? Good stuff. And then the handkerchief also goes in the back right pocket. And the handkerchief is something that I only got into because of um, all of the people that I was hanging out with on Instagram and talking to and I was seeing all these people carrying handkerchiefs and I never had one and sort of picked one up just to get into it and then I became obsessed. And so now I have a bunch of handkerchiefs. I really like them. I think it's cool. And the fact that I wear glasses now, I actually um, need one and use it pretty regularly. And this one is one that is just a favorite of mine. I really like the whole watch motif. Um, I love like the idea of gears and all that kind of stuff. My debit card actually has gears on it. You know, just a pretty cool looking uh, design. And so this is from Blue Label Hanks. 
pretty neat stuff. But yeah, regardless, I'll always have a uh, handkerchief in my back pocket. And again, this is all for work stuff. You know, if I'm carrying on my uh, on my day off and I'm wearing like shorts or something, I might have a cargo pocket. It might be in the front, but I'm always going to have one of these on me. All right. So that was the back right. Let's move over to the back left. And here's my wallet. And I'm actually due for a new one. And yes, that is a Cincinnati Bengals logo. So I'm sorry to uh, to anyone um, who roots for a rival team like the Steelers or the Browns. But to be honest, you guys should be feel you guys should feel sorry for me because I'm the Bengals fan, and you know it's been a tough road. Um, this is a great wallet though, and I you know I picked it up obviously because of the logo, and I'm gonna open it up and not really give you you know a shot at any of my like cards or anything, but just a lot of storage in here. It's been good. The NFL wallets just overall the ones that I've had, and this is the second one. They've been pretty good. So if you're an NFL fan and you know you want a little bit of flair. Uh, I would definitely recommend picking up one of their wallets. Uh, like I said, not just for looks, pretty functional. I've had this one for a couple years, and this piece is like pretty sturdy on here. hasn't ripped off or anything. So uh, definitely time for an upgrade and a new one, but this one has served me very well. All right. Now let's move into the front pockets. All right, and let's start with the front. Yeah, let's start with the front left. We'll save the knives for last. All right, so front left. I've got a couple things that I carry in the front left pocket. All right, this is the kind of pen that we get at work. Papermate Ink Joys, cheapos, uh, really functional. Just get the job done. You lose it, not a big deal. Um, so I always have these all over my house. Uh, always carry a pen with me, whether I'm at work or not at work. So that's usually going to be in my pocket. I have this spinner too, uh, but this is a rare carry. All right, I like this one a lot. It's cool. It's like the first one that I ever had. It's pretty functional, as you can see, but um, it's a fidget toy and it is a gimmick. And so it doesn't really serve any purpose carrying it around um, unless I feel like I'm going to be really bored somewhere. So it doesn't get into the pocket very often. You know, just every now and then I'll have it on me. Um, you know, if I go somewhere with my wife or something and I'm hanging out with people that I don't want to be hanging out with, I, I don't know. Uh, I'll have it with me, but um, don't carry it too often. Usually just sits on my desk. But let's get into the keys. All right. So these are all of the keys that I carry just about every day. All right, and they are on this free key system, which is probably the coolest part of the whole setup. All right, and the free key system is just a really, really smart way of having your keys on a key ring. It's a key ring, but the way that it's shaped is it just makes it really easy for you to get keys on and off. All right, and the reason why that's important for me is that these two down here are my house keys and I take them off when I go to work, right? So these aren't on my key ring all week long. And I'm always taking keys on and off. And it's a pain in the butt, a real pain to uh, to take stuff off of key rings. I mean, look at this Isuzu key. This is actually my wife's car. We swap cars, go back and forth all the time. And this is a pain to get on a regular key ring. So having this uh, free key is pretty, pretty helpful. All right, so happy to have that. And then... We talked about those keys. So the multi-tool is, as always, the Leatherman Micra. I have changed this out. I have tried other stuff. I have, I have really, really made the attempt to get away from this one and and get something new. And I can't. I just can't do it. This is the best one. You know, I've made. Uh, I talked about it before in a video where you know I tried to replace it and I just couldn't. You know, this does everything that I needed to do. And I've had this thing for one, four, what, five and a half years now. And it wasn't even new when I got it, <laughs> to be honest with you. So five and a half years, the main tool are the scissors. And then all of our other tools open from the inside. And it's just really functional. I use a little screwdriver in here all the time. Um, you know, I use the, the bottle opener. I use the file as like a pry bar when I need to. It's just done everything that I've needed it to do. So really happy with this one. I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon unless Leatherman comes up with a, uh, a better upgraded design. Or in case, you know, something breaks or gets too worn out and I just need to get a new one of these. And that's definitely going to be an option too. 
Another thing that I have on my keys, and I'm sorry for all the rattling, I'll try to minimize that, is this SOG key. It's a SOG key knife. Um, and I like this one a lot. I like the fact that it locks, and it actually locks up really well. And I like that it is separate and there are no other tools, so if I do need a backup knife, or if there is something that like I need to loan out to somebody, somebody needs a knife on them and I don't want to give them what I'm actually carrying, I can take this off of my um, you know, off of my key ring, give it to them. They have a nice locking knife that I is able to be kept really sharp because sharpened well. And I still have my backup multi-tool with a blade on it as well. So it's just an extra, it's a spare, it's really sleek, streamlined. Obviously, you can see it looks like a key. This is a wonderful investment in the sub $10 range. It's awesome, right? Probably, and sad to say, but probably my favorite SOG product that I've ever used. And yeah, it's good. It's really good. Got it as a gift, and uh, whether it's this one or the next one, I'll always have one on me. All right, so that's that. That is the, uh, the Leatherman Micra. Bunch of other keys, house keys. You can see the Blade HQ, Knife Life, um, little patch chain. And funny, I put this on for flair, but this really helps me get the keys out of my pocket quickly when I'm at work. So this is actually a really useful thing. And you can see how beat up and brown it is already just from uh, going in and out of my pocket. So yeah, it's a, that's definitely a good addition as well. So thank you to the, uh, to the fine gentleman and viewer who sent me this. Much appreciated. All right, and then... Last but not least, we have the right front pocket. All right, so the keys go in the left. In the right front pocket, I only keep two things. One of them is the cell phone that I'm filming on right now. All right, and that is a Samsung Galaxy S5. Old school at this point, I guess, right? Uh, old school phone, but it seems to do pretty well still with pictures and, and video. You know, I think um, I'm due for an upgrade, but the phone is, is paid off. And so I'm saving a lot of money just by holding on to it. And it's still useful. You know, it still runs fine. There's no problems with it. So yeah, that's on the tripod right now. That's what we're filming on. So that goes in my right pocket. And the only other thing that goes on my right pocket is my knife. And so these are just a couple knives that I'm carrying a lot right now. This is the Spyderco Polestar, relatively new one. And this is the Benchmade, God, why do I forget this name all the time? This is the Benchmade 770, a Warren Osborne design. All right, and I have these two knives out here. I don't carry two at the same time, but the reason why I have two is uh, for the same reason that I had two flashlights. Based on my... Um, my position and the shift that I have at work, uh, I carry a different type of knife sometimes. You know, and usually if I'm working later at night, I'll always carry a full size kind of folder, you know, something on the bigger range. And for me, this is what I consider on the bigger range. And this has been a really good knife for me so far. Really like the G10. I was actually having a conversation on Instagram just the other day uh, with. A guy about this and just how nice this G10 is and how well you know if you can get a good photograph of it how cool the uh, the edges look because it's almost translucent down here but uh, this one has been one I've been carrying a lot again more of a full size and then if I am working more during the day and I'm gonna need stuff for just like more light utility I'll carry something more on this size you know the 770 two and a half inch folder something like that but generally speaking, I work the late nights more often than not. So a lot of these smaller knives, even though I love them, um, get a little less pocket time. And I try to make sure I carry them on like days off or something like that. All right. So those are the knives. Again, that's in the, the front right pocket. The keys, I'll bring them back in front left. And that goes with the pen as well. And yeah, then we've got all the rest of our stuff. So uh, any new gear, any new kind of stuff that I am testing out or trying, uh, I'll definitely make a video and update you about that. But that seems to be really it for now. You know, this is by no means all of the gear that I use, but it's the stuff that is just a mainstay in my, uh, my carry and the stuff that I definitely use the most. So any questions, comments, complaints, suggestions, any things that you'd like to see as far as like the other kind of gear that I have or stuff that I carry, let me know. Uh, the worst that could happen is I say no. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Anything else you need, uh, don't hesitate to be in touch, and I will talk with you soon. Take care.